Welcome to the channel, folks, viewers. I'm here with a Joan today at the Lighthouse in Grand Tour. Can you guess which Joan it is? Being very close to the landing. Car. Have you guessed as yet? Let me give you a few more seconds. Let you actually come to grips with the camera quality, the movements of the drone, how stable it is, how good the video looks, etc. And by then you may be able to make a guess. <clears throat> and no, it's not a DJI drone. It is not the Mini SE. It is not the, the Mini 2. It is not the Mini 3. It is not the Mini 2 SE. It's not the DJI Spark. It's not the Mini 3 Pro. It's not the Mini 4 Pro. And it's not the DJI Air 3. It's none of those drones. It is no other than the Potensic Atom. But I guess that you have already seen the title to the video. I'm at here. I'm here at the lighthouse in Grand Talk. And this is my first flight. Surprisingly, my first flight of this Potensic Atom at the lighthouse. And this is a a favorite area of, of mine to fly Jones and this is a tourist attraction here lighthouse was constructed here in the 1840s I think if my memory serves me well probably 1843 and you could see the lovely blue waters of the Talks and Caicos Islands, a little bit breezy. You can see the waves rushing in towards the, the shores. But I want to talk a little here about the Potensic Atom, and I'll do so while I am actually doing some quick shots here with the Joan of the lighthouse. I was here yesterday. I didn't do any flying. There's a lot of tourists, a lot of tourists. It was here yesterday and I didn't really want to put up a June have anyone being bothered by me flying around. So I just let the tourists enjoy themselves. There were vendors outside selling and people was enjoying themselves people were and um i just didn't want to be the cause of spoiling anyone's um fun so i decided to come today when there is a no one around of course i have with me my fellow joan harvius and nephew Felix, I think he's flying his um, air tree somewhere about, or probably maybe his potential atom. So, why do I believe that potential hit a home run with this Joel? First, the features the quality, secondly, the price, and overall, what the drone offers. You know, it doesn't have obstacle avoidance, but neither do DJI lower end drones. So, it's not really a uh, um, a big negative because with the exception of the spark you have to go up to the 
DJI Mini Chi Pro to find DJI Jones with obstacle avoidance and then the higher end Jones, the Mini 4 Pro, the Air 2, the Air 2S, the Maverick 3 series, etc. But by the time you reach to the Mini 3, the Mini 3 Pro, the Mini 4, the Air 3, the Air 2, the Air 2S, uh, even the, the Mavic Pro, Mavic 2, the Zoom, and you're talking about hundreds of dollars, maybe thousands of dollars. But let's just forget a minute about the the over 249, over 250 grams drone. And let's talk about the mini drone. What you're getting from this drone, the Atom, in my view, is high value in comparison to any of DJI's mini drone. Because I believe that the with the exception of the Mini 2 SE, the Mini SE, or the older one, the Maverick 1, all those other Mini Jones, like the 3, Mini 3, the Mini 3 Pro, etc., up twice the price of this potential atom and those lower end DJI Jones that do not have obstacle avoidance do not have the checking feature this Jones the potential atom has the checking and a very good active tracking tool where it locks on to you and it follows you. In addition, three access gimbal, two 4K camera. It is just the wind well, fly for over 30 minutes, never fail to return to home. No. So it's just an amazing little drone, and in my view, value for money. And Potensic has really, in my view, hit a home run with this drone. So I'm just going to push the drone a little bit over here, over the ridge. Then I'm going to make a circle to the right. I'm going to come down over North Creek, and I'm going to come back to the home point. My phone is getting a little dim here, but if my phone allows me and the feet and the feet and the the FPV feed remains um, clear enough, and then I hope to to complete that task and come back to home. If not, I will cut it short. So this is my second flight for the year 2024 with the Potensi Atom. And it's my second flight since all those raft of updates came out. And I've done a flight with it before, but I've not actually even looked into the, the updates. So what are these updates? And what will they do to improve the flying experience? Well, it seems that there is updates for both Jones, the Atom and the Atom SE. So the update would what? Optimize the setting interface of the Atom SE. <coughs> Excuse me. Optimize the interface layout of the Atom SE intelligent flight modes. So I'll have to check out the Atom SE. I do own an Atom SE. Three, added support for new camera features of the Atom. Optimize access permission for photos library. 
optimize other known issues. What those issues are? Only known probably to Cotensi. Then there are firmware updates, optimize for stake of experience. And this is if the, the drone is um, probably have low battery, you know, 10%, 5, 8% of what you want to take off, then you could do a force take off. I don't know where you will want to fly, you know, 10% anyway. Optimize low battery beating experience, including song. Add a new feature, silent return, where you press the power button and you could turn off the, the beeping when the drone is returning to home. I also noticed that in the app, you could actually check a box and actually put it on silence put the control on silent when it's returning to home it add a new feature the digital zoom which works well i have tried it in the flight that i had before this one up to two times zoom it add a new feature like an interval timer shooting mode so it's probably like a time lapse. That should be good. It added beep into the remote controller when the target is lost in visual tracking. So if you're tracking and the target is lost, you'll hear a beeping, so you'll be alerted that it is no longer tracking. That should be good. Optimize a lot prompts for battery malfunction. Whatever that is, should give you an alert if there's a battery issue. Optimize Find My Drone Experience. So if you have to have a forced landing or a crash, then you may be able to find the drone much easier. Optimize gimbal stability. And you can see the gimbal is very steady here. And I'm not doing a screen recording, but I'm getting some very strong wind warnings, but I'm still pushing on. Then there's another update, 10 optimized gimbal calibration algorithm, whatever that means. Optimize the issue of tilted horizon in some scenarios. And the only person that I saw had an horizon issue of tilted horizon with this drone is the Idaho Crat Captor. I hope this formula update sort out his issues because he was having some issues with um connection and uh, tilted horizon and he uh, flown the drone in I think several different locations and was still having the problems so I hope that would sort out his problem I have not seen any other reviewer or any other person who own one of this drone the atom complained about that sort of issues like horizon tilt or connection issues the only issue that i identify with this drone is a little bit of latency in the fpv feed but it's not too bad and it seems that it is improving and then there, there's a, um, a 12th firmware update optimize other known issues what that means again probably is only known by potensic so since this drone came out there is uh, there has been several updates these latest updates i'm sure will improve the or will improve an already super flying experience i'm not actually going to try out all these features to see if they work i'm not a lot into the technical side of things i just like to fly and um have some fun. I've, I've always said flying drones is like therapy for me. You know, after a hard day's walk, I like to get out in the afternoon and fly around. Or after a hard 
long walking week. I like to get on a weekend and just put a June up in the air, fly around. A lot of times I fly without even recording because every time I fly, it's not for the channel, it's not for YouTube, it's for my own personal satisfaction. So I have successfully navigated the June all year round to the North Creek area, an area that I've flown several times and I've And I now have the June all around to the to the area just outside where I took off, just behind the the lighthouse here, some over the waters, just enjoying the Blue waters of the Tucks and Caicos Islands, I don't know. Probably I might be able to see something. A whale, probably a shark, I don't know. <laughs> but that would be, be fun. I think my nephew is actually flying in, in the hope that he would be able to see something special in the water. I, he was telling me that Some tourists reported that they saw a whale in the waters when they went out on a boat or something like that. I, I don't know how true that is. Anyway, I haven't seen anything to report against, to report here. So this has been a very rewarding and satisfying flight. It shows again, once again, the progress, the powers of the potentic atom. And what a wonderful and special zone that this is, and how the potentic company here has really, really hit home run so I am back where I took off from and I'm coming down for the landing and now you can see me here in view of the the camera no issues at all if you like this video please give it a thumbs up but most of all I thank you for taking the time out to watch this video let me show you a few photos so you can see lovely photos here from the camera so the potential atom has really delivered so far no issues at all cheers Bye for now, and I will see you in another video. And it's home. <laughs>